Hi everybody, it's Anthony here from Edu Power Tools with a quick tip today on Google Forms. If you are in a G Suite for Education district, um, meaning you sign in with your school email address to access the Google Tools, um, you are in a G Suite uh, account. So when you are doing that, it basically um, sets up some additional settings that are in place that may not necessarily be in place if you're used to using some of the tools um, from just a regular old Gmail account. So for instance, here I am in a Google form. And a lot of times, administration especially, um, school secretaries, nurses, um, even classroom teachers who are looking to send out like information forms that they want their families to fill out so that you have the parent or guardian contact information all up to date and all that good stuff. Um, when you're sending when you're creating a form for that in Google Forms, which is a great idea, by the way, uh, but when you're doing that from a G Suite for Education account, there is an additional setting that you need to make sure you are checking before you send it out. Otherwise, you're going to get a ton of emails from parents or family members or community members or whoever it is that you're sending the form to saying they cannot access the form. So here is the quick tip. In your form, I've started a default form as a blank form. I haven't done anything to it yet. The first thing that you should do when you open up this form, to, when you're creating this form that you're going to send out to the general public, is you're going to click on the gear here, and you are going to observe this setting. Require sign-in, restrict to users in Northbridge Public Schools and its trusted organizations. This means that only people who have Northbridge Public Schools uh, email addresses, who have those Google logins, and any trusted organizations that are affiliated with Northridge Public Schools can access this form. If you send this link out to parents that don't have any relationship with uh, the district other than the fact that they're a parent, um, they're not going to be able to access it. So you have to turn this off. I would definitely, you have to turn that off. So make sure that you do that. The other thing that people tend to want to do is you want to do things like limit to one response or collect email addresses. To prevent any kind of confusion, with parents and family members and community members, don't select any of these options. Just leave them blank. And then hit save. And that's it. Now you create the form as you want and then send out the link as you would like to your, uh, to your audience. Hope you found that helpful. It's super important. Make sure that you remember that. And if you forget, that's okay. I'll help you anyway. Uh, let me know if you need any more help. And I hope that you have a great day. Thanks. Bye.